What's cranking guys? Welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. My name is Tommy McGrath. For those who are new to the channel, welcome. It is like 3.50 in the morning right now, 4 in the morning. So basically I stayed up all night. I've literally been editing nonstop. I'm always editing. And me and my buddy talked about last night about going. This is one of my good buddies from literally my childhood, fourth, fifth grade. And we're gonna go out on the lake that I actually just fished. So my best five fish went for 19 pounds, 11 ounces, all largemouth. It was an absolutely insane day. End of the day with like 15, 16 fish. I think my smallest one was like two pounds, eight ounces or something crazy. Such a good day. So today we got new moon. We got rain in the area. We might get pissed on at like 6 a.m. Hopefully it kind of just dissipates everything. I'm finishing dropping some footage right now. I need the clean, clear SD cards ready to go, but I'm excited today. I hope we can get on a consistent, steady bite. And hopefully, we can catch some fish today. So, we're probably gonna get there around 5, 5 15 in the morning and probably be out to about 1. So, we're gonna have a solid, solid morning to fish, and hopefully, the fishing's good and everything cooperates. So, fishing should be good, but yesterday was like a high of like 93, so I'm a little bit worried that it killed a little bit. But we got a lot of good things going in our favor. Like I said, rainy the area, new moon. Um, I'm really big in moon phases, new moon, full moon favorite times of fish by far. Without further ado, I'm gonna go get the boat ready. I gotta take the cover off because it was supposed to rain earlier, so I just covered the boat, load up all my camera stuff. My buddy's gonna come over, put all his rods in, then we're gonna take off. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in to another Epi on McGrath Fishing. Let's go. Guys, we're about 10 minutes out. I got my buddy Dan. He was with me for the King Salmon trip uh, when we went to Milwaukee. My allergies are awful today. But like I said, we're gonna be there in 15 minutes, get the boat launched, and we're gonna be targeting all largemouth today and Northern Pike. Like I said, I had a really good day on Thursday. Today is Sunday, yeah, right? You gotta make a left up here. Okay, so anyways, I had a really good day on Thursday. Today is Sunday, 19 pounds, 11 ounce bag. I'm hoping we can recreate that. Like I said, we got rain in the area. We got a new moon today. Those are really good conditions for bass fishing and northern pikes. I'm mostly gonna be targeting the largemouth. My uh, buddy Dan is really big into uh, northern pike fishing, so all the spots we're gonna be in are gonna have northern and um, bass. Like We've had days where we've sat in our bass spots and only caught pike. Don't know what today's gonna bring. Hopefully we can get it done, get the bite nice and consistent. Dan, how you feeling? There's a word from Dan, but uh, we're gonna be there in five. See you guys in the water. All right guys, we're at the first spot right now. We have like a kayak right next to us. Pull up on them kind of quick, but. Yeah. First fish, yeah. It's a nice one, grab the net. Yeah. Right here, put the net in the water, I'll bring it to you. Pull it out, pull it out. All right, guys, look at this. First fish of the day. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. That, that was one day of my third, fourth cast. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to have Dan take a quick pick of this just to kind of load up. And there we go. Grab my phone quick. Let's just do it quick. Let's just set it down. All right, guys. I'm going to say this one's probably about two and three quarters. Possibly pushing three. Nice release. Here we go. The bait of the day is a green pumpkin purple flake XL Lures, baby. Want to get anything at XLLures.com? Use promo code Tommy to save 20% off. God, dude, this day is gonna be incredible. Yeah. Guys, look at that next cast. That was literally my next cast after that last one. I don't need the net. But, all right, guys, a little two pounder. It's literally my next cast after the last one. All right guys, so it's 627. I have two fish. I just lost a small one, so it would have been three, but great start to the morning. This is a better start than I had last time. Uh, the first fish was about three pounds. Second one was about probably two, right about two. And then the third one was lost, but that was only about a pound, probably about a pound, pound and a quarter. So this is the first spot. We're fishing like a point. I'll pop up kind of like what we're fishing. And then we're gonna just kind of move our way down and just fish right outside the weed. So first spot, success. Let's keep it going. Got him? Big? No. Another fucking small one, dude. Dude, I didn't catch any of this last time. I didn't have one small fish last time. Guys, another little tiny one. You mean this is a PB? This little P's PB. All right, guys, I had the GoPro off. It's a, yeah, it's a good one, it's a good one. Net? Yeah, just to be safe. 
Ready? Ready? Nah. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. All right, guys. Another decent one. I'm going to guess two pounds, 12 ounces. So two and three quarters. Or I'm going to say two pounds, 15 ounces. This has got a little gut to it. No, you take care of it. You cut it off. I'll figure out the leader. Move your fat foot. Frankenstein. That guy's dance hooked on. First fish of the day for him. Take your time. Is it a pike? Yeah, it's a pike. That's a bass, bro. That's not a bass. Want a bat? Dumb shit. Yeah. Told you. A bass will eat that? Damn it. I told you, dude. Action strikes. I can't believe that just happened, honestly. It's a bass. This not a bass. Get <laughs> move. Get move. You got one? Yeah. Guys, this is insane out here. It came off. Decent one, too. That's another three. For sure. So we were talking earlier. I'm like, dude. I guarantee you a bass will hit that northern pike lure and it's literally like a for a northern pike and muskie that's what that is and he's like dude a bass has never hit that and it never will like check this out and I'm like dude I was like a bass would definitely hit it like reaction strike what do you know coming in and it's a bass what's crazy though is like when I was saying like we left this spot it got slow and then like we went down the line a little bit and then we came back to the spot it's like they're all just like reloaded again so it's just like a good spot for fish to keep moving in and out of I bet and we're finding them we have five on the day so far. That would have been our seventh. Would have been our eighth. We've lost three. I've lost two and you've lost one now. It does not, I mean, I guess it, the air is pretty warm, but I feel the water. It actually feels pretty cold. Either way, we're having a good day out here. That's a good one. Oh my god, oh my god, man, get the, get the net, get the net, get the net, that's a pig. Everyone thinks like four pound bass, oh dude's a four pounder, like no, people don't understand, like four and fives are hard to come by all the time. Do you think I should throw this one in the live ball for a double up pick? Sure. Keep your tip up. Yeah, I'm going with it, dude. Dude, look at that, look how your hook is. What's up, don't take that one in the hand. This is Dan's actual first one of the day, and guess what, he switched to a leader, I'm gonna pop up some text for me and him. Dan does not believe in leaders. He's like, dude, why would I tie a weaker line on to braid? Look at that. First cast of the leader he nails on. Right here. You're like, I don't need that. Why do you tie a weaker line on? Because, dude, I, like, the concept is so stupid. But if you look at anyone fishing any type of finesse or with a spin cast, everyone has a leader. Anyone. Name it. If that person, like, knows how to fish, they're using a leader. Like, people that don't, like, you, other than top water and, like, what you're doing, like, bigger lures is fine. Like, that I get, but any finesse, fix your net. Kind of looks like a banana right now. Crappie are fun to catch, but it's nothing like I would be like, dude. Oh, holy shit, I'm on two, I'm on two. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're doubled up right now. I was about to go get the net. Yo, should we do two fish, one net? Hey, I'm just You should lose. Where's your drag? Where's where's your drag? Where's your drag? That's a pig. That's a pig. That's a four pounder. Check this out. I'll show you guys my fish in a second, but this is a pig. That's a really good one. I'm gonna guess. That's four. Yeah. I'm gonna say four three, four point three. You got him. Okay. Three three point five seven. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on, we can just stick him in the live ball. Hold on. What do we have? 3.63, I don't know. Three and a half. It is skinny though, you know? Like, yeah. it, it, it's not like. Get him in the live ball. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got that. But <laughs> 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 like 40 feet of water. I used to think the lyrics that song when I was younger was like, I'm away. <laughs> good? Yeah, good one, really good one. I'm fine, I'm fine, I got, a, I got a lot of... It's not huge, but it's a good one. It's not like a... Right here? Yeah, here, come up here, come up here. Guys, we're hooked on again. Pretty decent one. Where is it? 
don't know, but he's fighting like a log. It's a log. Heads up, heads up, move your net, move your net. No, get your net. Okay, put the net in. All right, guys, probably another two and three quarters, three pound fish. We got storms in the area. We're not gonna do an underwater release. We're just gonna toss this guy. He's off. Thanks for the net. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for the official first spot. Me and Dan think we have about 12 to 13 fish. Um, the biggest one being, I think, was it yours that was the biggest? I think so, because mine was 3.3. Three. Mine was like 3.6. Yeah, 3.61. So Dan has the biggest one at 3.61. We have actually probably, what, four to five threes? Yeah, about. So we got four to five threes, and then we have a bunch of twos, the smallest being those little dinks that I have, but that was like right in the morning. So it's 8.15, first two hours, absolutely unbelievable. We're already off to a better start than the last time I was out here when I got the 19 pound bag. So we're gonna shoot to the second spot. Hopefully the bite is just as good as here, and we can keep this day rolling because we're definitely gonna come back to this spot, and hopefully we can slay, so. Dude, uh, I'll see you guys in the next spot. All right, guys, so spot number two was a bus. It is 9.15 now, literally absolute bus. I had one hit on the net in like the first bass spot Then when we moved, just like shifted down a little bit. It was, I threw a chatterbait and I literally got my paddle tail ripped off by a pike. So I was going for pike with that, but I couldn't get it. So none at spot two. We are still at like 13, 14 fish, something like that. Somewhere through that range, some good ones. So now we're actually gonna go work an actual point, not like a rock point or like a weed point, like an actual like, stationary point so we're gonna shoot to that spot hopefully we can get some pike he really wants some pike and then hopefully i can get some bass as well but i'll definitely take a pike or two because we have so many bass already and we literally have like a sailboat race going on look at that i counted literally like 11 sailboats so we're gonna we got that to deal with now the sunday scaries all right we're gonna shoot to the spot see you there guys i'm on this is the third spot Ooh, it's actually not bad it's actually not bad All right, probably about, let's just get a quick weight. I'm gonna guess 2.2, 2.3. 2 Dan, what's your guess? 1.8. I'm gonna say 2.2, final answer. Nice call, 1.78. All right, there she goes. All these bites are mostly coming off of like, once it hits, like slowly, like just like tapping it along and letting it sit back again. See, see? That's a good one. You got it? Yeah. Gonna try to make it. Oh, damn. Um. This is a lot better than I thought. Don't grab the line, don't grab the line. Grab him. Grab him. I'm trying, he's dancing with wow, me. Wow, that's a good one. That's the solid one. Look at that hook set. Is it perf? Yeah, look at that, dude. All right, another stud. Yeah? yeah. Good one. Yeah. That's a pike. Yep. Smallest pike line. There you go. There's your first pike. Now stop bitching. First pike of the day. Small. Probably what? 18 inches? Yeah, about. Alright uh, guys, this is the three that I caught. My GoPro just died for the smaller one, but I just had a nice double up pack. This is a bigger one out of the two. Probably a good three pounds. 3.1, 3.2, that range. Get this guy back in. Spot number three, we came around with three bass and one little small pike. And my bill just kicked on. But not a bad, not a bad third spot. We're gonna go back to the original spot we started at and see if it kind of heated back up and try and hit some big ones. So this video is really panning out. I don't even know how many fish we have. Me and Dan guessed like maybe 15 to 17. It has to be around there. So great day. Hopefully we can get a few more big ends. It's 10 o'clock right now. We're probably gonna get off the water around two to three around that range, kind of depending on the bite. So if we keep our wind, we're gonna stay out, but if we lose this wind, we're just gonna have to get off because the minute we lose our wind, it's done out here. See you guys at spot number four, really spot number one though. Here we go. 
Okay. No, no, no. Oh, it's getting better as it comes. Holy shit, put on a show for daddy. <laughs> Dude, that sucks. They don't even know either. What I was trying to show you is someone's getting popped by the police right now. It was I was trying to show you, I hit this thing. All right, guys, a little chunky. Not big, but it's got some, it's got some girth. All right, guys, this is like the fifth spot. This is a really good spot that I've actually found. <coughs> this is one of the first spots I actually found in this lake. I always line up with one of those bushes on the shoreline. Oh, I hit that casting that way. And we are in the same thing. Ten and a half feet of water right outside the weed edge. We're finding more fish. We decided to come over here because I didn't see a lot of boats over here. And I feel like a lot of the spots we've been fishing have had like a lot of pressure on them. So I think that's affecting it a little bit. And maybe some fit, uh, spots can be fished out. No way that's a fish. Oh my god, yo, I have something. Grab the net, it's a pike. Net it. Oh no, it is in the mouth. What the hell? Oh man, it's swallowed too. Oh no, don't, hold on, let it go, let it go. Guys, literally a snake northern, but my first pike of the day. Thought he was hooked in the side, but it's in the roof of the mouth. I only said that because he like rolled on the top of the water all weird, so maybe he got like wrapped in my line, but leave will catch. Yo, big fish, big fish. Oh, it's not that big. No, it's a bass. But he, I mean, he's pulling good. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, officer. Oh, are you officer nasty? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Of course, guys, I have the GoPro off, but I'm hooked on again. Didn't even feel the bite at all on that one. I just kind of lifted up and it was there. Oh, I thought it was a lot bigger. Another little chunky one, not too bad. I thought this was a lot bigger, but it's another green fish. <laughs> Bites on over here now, bud. We hooked down. We hooked down. Oh, giving us a show. Dude, this guy's dogging. All right, guys, another little chunky one, but ooh, nice scar right there. But not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. That's gotta be the least the 20th of the day. All right, it's one o'clock and we lost our wind. The bite has gone to shit. There are so many boats out here. Like we were just back in that other side of the lake. There was like a good 25 to like 45 boats over there. So many. And again, we lost our wind. The bite has just gone to shit. So we've done so well today. We at least have over 20 fish. I'd like to tally it up and see what we got, but I think we have over 20 for sure. Not like a crazy amount of size, but just a decent amount of good fish. And the average is probably about two to three pounds a day. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Please remember to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, two videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays at 4 o'clock p.m. and we are out.